What is an ACME thread? How do we calculate its parameters, its tolerances, its classes? Stay tuned in the next few minutes to find out. Hello, everybody. Erez here from the Machining Doctor website, and my task is to make your professional life easier. So without further ado, let's jump right into the matter. These are the topics we will cover in this video. What is an ACME thread? Its designations, parameters and formulas, and finally, tolerance classes. ACME is a trapeze-shaped thread profile with a 29-degree V-angle, defined by ASDM B1.5. It is the most popular thread used for traversing linear motion, due to its ability to withstand large loads and ease of manufacturing. It is found in industrial equipment, such as CNC machines and conveyors, but also in everyday life equipment, such as a jack, which we use to replace a flat tire. Acme threads were first developed in the late 1800s by the American industrialist inventor, William Sellers. Sellers aimed to create a lead screw thread that was stronger and easier to manufacture than the square thread design commonly used at the time. The resulting trapeze-shaped thread form became known as the Acme thread and quickly gained popularity in the design of lead screws and power screws. Before we dive deeper into the video, I want to take a quick moment and remind you that your feedback is appreciated. If you have any questions throughout the video, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I answer each and every question personally. And now, let's move on by getting familiar with the designation of ACME threads. The first few characters represent the nominal diameter in inches. The permissible range is one quarter to five inches. It is typically noted in inch fractions, for example, one quarter but it is also allowed to express the diameter in decimals. Next, followed by a dash, we have the pitch, typically noted in TPI. For example, 20 tooth per inch. However, it is also allowed to denote it as a distance, with the suffix P, for example, 0.05P. On multiple start threads, the pitch must be expressed as distance, followed by another dash, with the lead, followed by the L suffix. For example, 0.05p-0.15 L denotes a three-start thread, with a pitch of 20 teeth per inch. Followed by another dash, we have the word ACME. After the word ACME, followed by a space, a single character indicates the series, which can be G for general or C for centralized. We will talk more about the series later in this video. Immediately after the series, a digit represents the tolerance class. It can be a number between 2 and 4, where 2 stands for lower precision and 4 for higher precision. And finally, in the case of a left-hand thread, the description ends with a dash LH. Now the description is clear, so let's move on to the thread profile and how to calculate its basic dimensions. The general shape is of a 29 degree truncated triangle. All the basic dimensions are calculated directly from the pitch. If the value is given in TPI units, you should convert it, dividing one by the TPI value. The profile height, H, equals half the pitch. The pitch diameter, D2, equals the nominal diameter minus the height. The minor diameter, D1, is the nominal diameter minus the pitch. And finally, the truncation width, F, equals 0 0.3707 times the pitch. The formulas for the internal thread are the same. However, the symbols are in capital letters. Next, let's have a look at the three different series of ACME threads. The first is the general purpose series, represented by G, which is the most popular one. 
wedging, can occur under loads. Therefore, it is recommended for applications where the screw and nut are supported individually. The second is called centralized and is denoted by C. It features a tighter clearance between the internal and external threads, which prevents wedging on the flanks. It is more suitable for applications with higher load, and it shares the exact basic dimensions of the C-series, and the difference is only in the tolerances. There is an additional series called stub. They have a shallower profile, with a 43% shorter stub height, and are used in applications with limited space. It is defined separately in ASDM B1.8. To manufacture or measure a thread, one has to know the maximum and minimum permissible values of the basic dimensions. These values are calculated according to the thread series and class. The calculations are made in two steps. In the first step, you must obtain the values for the following parameters from the charts in ASDM B1.5. ES, which is the allowance for pitch diameters. EL, the allowance for major and minor diameters. And the pitch diameter tolerance, TD2. In the second step, you will calculate the limits based on these parameters. The process is somewhat complicated. I recommend you to follow our detailed guide or use the online Acme thread calculator. I will share both links in the video description. Before we wrap it up, one last note regarding diameter pitch combinations. The standard list of Acme threads has only one pitch option per diameter. However, playing with the pitch is an important design consideration since it allows us to increase the traverse speed by using a coarser pitch or improving the accuracy by choosing a finer one. ASDM B1.5 provides each pitch with the minimum and maximum allowed diameters as seen in this chart. So that's it for today. I hope you found the video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. See you on the next one. Bye.